Um, I'm debating between uh, spending a few years at the army, uh, being a father, uh, but I will take my last role as being as a uh, VP sales, uh, leading a business line uh, in my previous company um, that I think gives you the, uh, the best perspective of the business when you come from the sales side. Um, I always been on the B2B side of businesses and always on selling services for the selling solutions for the long run. I never sold a product that uh, you buy the product and we say goodbye. Uh, it was always long term relationship with our customers. And when you have such a, uh, such a, such a service to sell, you have to listen a lot. You really have to listen. Uh, so that's why I was debating on, on being a father because you also need to listen uh, a, a lot. Uh, but listening to, to the clients uh, makes you um, much more accurate, makes you smarter because you do understand their pains and be, with their pains you know what is the next thing that you need to develop in order to support their needs. And it's also, uh, I think, uh, giving the customers the understanding that we are here together on this one. I'm not here to pitch you on, on anything. I'm here to understand your needs and build the solution that you need for, for the long term. So I would say uh, that being on the sales side is a huge benefit to move on to the CEO position. And also, uh, you need to know how to speak in front of people. So hopefully I'm doing it okay now on, on the videos, but uh, same as you speak with customers, you then need to speak with your investors, you need to speak with your team members, and, and you need to be able to communicate um, things that are fun to communicate, things that are less fun to communicate, but it's all about communication. I think you also get the communication skills uh, from the sales side, also from the army, that's why I said the army at the beginning, but in general, I think that the sales experience was a great uh, preparation to become to be a CEO. Uh, and maybe lastly, uh, you cannot sell anything without collaboration. And when you sell something, you always need to sell externally to your customers, but also sell it internally so the team will support you. You need the product, you need the R&D, you need the operation, you need many people that will be engaged and will run with you to close the next deal uh, with your customer. So you need everyone to be engaged. You, you need to uh, uh, know how to work with the team and obviously being a CEO without engaging the team, you can be by yourself, but you won't have the team that will run with you to uh, win the next uh, challenge. So I think this is it for me.